Я не знаю, где я сейчас. Натягиваем тесную душечка. Вот так вот держим. 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 Вот так вот Мемориалия Гароян Турма Города Крапости Кюнсберг. The Memorial of Heroes for the Storming of the City and the Battle of Königsberg. 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 So, Königsberg was the original name of Ka Kaliningrad. In German, really, it's pronounced Königsberg. And Königsberg was a critical city uh, for East Prussia. At times in, in Prussian and German history, Königsberg rivaled the city of Berlin. That's how prestigious and important the city was. And no doubt during the Second World War, or, or as uh, it's known here, is the Great Patriotic War. The uh, Nazis, led by Adolf Hitler, put a prestigious importance on protecting this city right here. In April of 1945, when the Red Army would launch their final assault on the city of Königsberg, which dealt a devastating blow to the uh, the war efforts of Nazi Germany and crushing morale, where the heroes of the Red Army are memorialized who fought in that battle. Uh, of course, rows left for them. These heroes made Kaliningrad possible. And of course, it was with this victory that the city of Königsberg would see its last day as a German city and would forever remain a Russian city with German ruins. Here we are. We are here today at Fort Donhof. Fort Donhof was one of 15 uh, peripheral fortresses built around the old city of Königsberg. And this is probably, from what I've been told, this is the most intact fortress of them all. Many of them were damaged uh, during the uh, Great Patriotic War. This fortress was built in the 1870s, but would later see action in the Great Patriotic War itself. And we can see the flag of the Soviet Union flying above it, victorious. Check this out. Check this out. Давай, 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 давай! Is this? <laughs> On the evening of April 7th, 1945, uh, the, the German garrison here would receive the order to surrender and would turn this fortress over to the uh, Red Army virtually without much of a fight at all. And that is exactly why this is the most preserved fortress on the periphery of this old city of Königsberg in Kaliningrad. Look at this, the old German writing Right, you can hardly make it out. I can only recognize a few words. Zikrhel, uh, und der, um die, with the original German crest above. Völken, Kampfen, imagine, this is the original paint. The people who put the paint on that walls were in the city of Königsberg. And today we're standing in the city of Kaliningrad. Entering the fort now. Said that these are the original German gates. Original German steel. From 1942, the Red Army would work its way across. 1943, key engagements all across. 1944, and finally would work its way to surrounding Königsberg for the final uh, victory, 1945. Imagine actually like sizing up your uh, your target there. On this bad boy, there's four barrels, I'm sure it's going boom, 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 boom. There it is depicted on the background of the poster, look. I thought this was a very interesting picture to just take in here. These were the citizens of Königsberg after uh, a bombing raid in 1944. So the city was well damaged before it would actually reach its ultimate surrender in the year 1945. This is almost a full year before uh, surrender uh, would happen. And you might think what was going through their minds, what was going through their heads. Maybe they were walking through thinking that they were going to get away with all the horrible stuff that their government was doing during the war. Maybe they thought after the war the city would be rebuilt and they would just go back to living their Königsberger lives. But no, actually, 
nope, got that wrong. You're out of here. And this would become Kaliningrad. Сначала нужно нацелиться, посмотреть, чтобы арбалет не ударился. Расстояние одинаковое. Здесь пальчики под тетиву не подставляем, а держим так, чтобы они не торчали. Приклад держим крепче, чтобы была возможность свободно предохранитель да. снять. И еще почему крепко держим, не даем арбалету подпрыгнуть. Да. Все. Look at this ahead of us. This looks like a yeah, destroyed uh, staircase left in rubble. And what is what's what's underneath here? Let's take a look. What is this? Looks like the ruins of a Panzerfaust. Oh my gosh! Look at this. And then what's over here? More rubble. More rubble just left. Wir kapitulieren nie. We do not capitulate. It says in German. I'm sure that's what they thought they were going to say, but that's not what ended up happening, did it? We have a German officer, you know, possibly planning and looking at a hopeless, impossible uh, situation. The city of Kaliningrad was completely encapsulated and circled for over three months. You can imagine just staring it down at the map, like looking at how, do, how, how am I ever going to get out of this? And unfortunately for them, I suppose, but fortunately for the rest of the world, the only way that they were going to be able to get out of this alive was to do exactly what this sign says not to do. And that was to surrender and capitulate to the victorious Red Army. Just goes and goes and goes and goes. Look at the old tiles. The original tiles right here. Or what's left of them. Imagine the boots. The boots that walked on these same tiles. Probably full of fear. In the final days. One of the original lifts that you could have used to use a pulley system to lever the uh, whatever it was. So you'd lever that up, lever that up the shaft. Unlike that last stairwell, this one, this stairwell is still intact. The original handrail. Let's go up, Let's see what we find. Ammunition, of course, is really heavy, so that kind of lift would be really important for getting your heavier munitions quickly up the, up the stairs instead of having to you know, race up the stairs by yourself. And then here's the top of the lift here, all the way down the shaft there. Then you can grab that, come racing out here. And let's see what's up on top here. So right up to the top here, and you're you're up in action. You've got that. You got the ammunition from the magazines stored securely below, lifting them up, hoisting them up, and now you're coming up to the top here. Supply, uh, maybe you're. Uh, Drop your ammo boxes right here, you know, and, and, and feed the soldiers right up here at the top. Who's shooting out at the top of the uh, the fortress? Who knows? That's at least my imagination for you. What an interesting, what a very extensive and interesting uh, fortification left over from the war. I don't know how many there are left in the world like this. Look down below, who is this? But today, thankfully, the only thing that we're going to find up top, really, is the flag of the victorious Red Army of the Soviet Union. And this just goes and goes and goes. This is such an extensive sight. There's so much to explore here. Well, I don't think this is a playground, soldier. I think this is a time for you to trial and figure out, do you have what it takes to join the Red Army? I don't know. I certainly don't. How to uh, run up here. I mean, like, oh my gosh, Jesus. <laughs> See, I, I, I'm no soldier. Whoa. Oh. Divide, 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 divide. <laughs> I would fall and break my actual neck. Oh my God. Divide, divide. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I can't. Come on. Hit the top. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> God, divide, 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 divide. Oh. Oh. Divide. Divide. Oh. 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 Oh.
Of course, they're over there. They're over there looking at me. Probably embarrassed. Probably embarrassed myself, but what can I say? I'm not a soldier. Here, just like pitch black dark. You can't see anything. What's down here? I can see more in my camera than I can actually in person. Oh, there's a rabbit. There's a rabbit. Wow. Tunnels just go on and on and on and on and on. This, this fortress is endless. Wow. Are these original? These look original, don't they? Holy cow. This is original desks. Wow. I didn't know where you are now. I don't know. Jeez. Water's deep in here. Oh, sh**. Uh, these are obviously some post-war Soviet markings on the wall as the water seeps into my toes. Um, was it worth it? No. I don't think so, but it looks like there's a little oven over there. Oh my gosh. Let me get the hell out of here. Look at this. Ready for dinner. Interestingly enough, there's a uh, German beer and sausage and bread uh, cafe. Keller is uh, German for cellar. And it's right here in the, in the middle of the uh, fortress. On the way, we have another um, memorial from the Great Patriotic War. But unlike pretty much any of the other memorials that I've seen so far in my journeys, uh, this one is actually not to the uh, Red Army. This memorial here is to the French pilots. The French pilots from Normandy, uh, a regiment, I think it says, that fought in the Battle of Königsberg and provided air support uh, during the Great Patriotic War. I think this is a very important time to reflect that so much in today's media, they're trying to vilify and demonize the, the, the Red Army and the Soviet effort in the Great Patriotic War. It's important to never forget that it was... It was uh, France, Britain, and the United States that fought alongside the Red Army on different fronts, but also provided aid to the Soviet Union at various points in the conflict as well, and vice versa. And this is an important memory of that. And if you think that this has been forgotten or, or not remembered, you can look right here. People are still putting out the red carnations for the French pilots. So if you're somewhere in France or somewhere in Europe and you think, uh, you know, I'm not going to go honor a Red Army memorial. Well, here in Russia, they're still remembering and honoring and remembering the uh, the Western uh, veterans who fought alongside them in the Great Patriotic War. In April of 1945, after a three-month-long siege of the uh, German city of Königsberg, the uh, acting Wehrmacht general in command of this area, Otto Lush, surrendered to the Red Army after thousands uh, dead of uh, Wehrmacht casualties and many other brave uh, casualties from the Red Army, they surrendered. And Otto Losch's uh, command bunker in the city of Königsberg uh, is right here. It's right in front of me. And we're going to be going down there. And today it's a museum, a uh, bunker. And what's interesting is for surrendering in a hopeless in a hopeless uh, situation uh, for the uh, fascist forces after a three month long siege Adolf Hitler decided to reward Otto Lush with a death sentence <laughs> for I guess cowardice or, or whatever you know Adolf Hitler was an absolutely insane criminal uh, he was he was a, a psychopath on the highest of levels who wanted the German people to perish and die for their weakness and being able to uh, win the, uh, the second Second World War, the Great Patriotic War. But for the people of Königsberg, the citizens of Königsberg, everything ended basically right here, down here in this bunker. So let's go ahead and go take a look and uh, in the museum and see what we find. Oh man, you can really start to feel things as you as you descend downwards. I don't. I can't really describe it. The emotional feeling as you're coming down here below ground. Здравствуйте, здравствуйте. А можно мне, пожалуйста, один билет? 
русский, английский, немецкий. А, окей, okay, хорошо, хорошо. И туда заходим. Выход в другую сторону. Спасибо большое. Пожалуйста. Я благодарю вас. Штатплан фон Кёнигсберг. City plan of uh, Königsberg here. Old streets, of course, with their old German names. Oberteich, Pferderennbahn, Herzogs, Königstrasse, Vorderrosgarten, Hinterrosgarten, Steindamm, the Prosta, you know, it could go on and on. And of course, the Innenstadt, which is the inner city. So we can already recognize from a few places, for instance, Schloss. This is the castle. This was the castle of Königsberg, which which was torn down and replaced with the House of Soviets. Right here, this is the cathedral. This is the cathedral that I, that um, where Immanuel Kant is buried, right here. Dom, Dom means cathedral. And uh, you can look, Lutherstrasse, you know, Martin Luther Street. Altstadt, old, old town. These are some of the old monuments that you definitely won't see uh, in the city anymore. This is the Kaiser Wilhelm I, you know, the German Kaiser. And above here is a, was a monument to Otto von Bismarck, who was credited as Prussian leader who uh, united, united Germany into, uh, from a collection of uh, various states into one united Germany. Of course, this monument was torn down long, long ago. Uh, but what I thought was interesting was here in the Kaiser Wilhelm monument when this photo was taken would have been in some of his last moments because down here you can see SSSR, Moscow, you know, so by this time the city had already come under uh, Soviet uh, rule. And you can even see the ruins of the old cathedral, the old dome uh, behind in the, in the background. Here we see a, a reconstruction of the ruins of Königsberg actually reminds me sort of of the Battle of Berlin. You can imagine just the end days basically of, 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 of fascist rule in the world. Here is the uh, Königsberg uh, Hauptbahnhof, German for train station, um, in 1929, well before, well before the hostilities. And this of course was it after the war. You can see Königsberg Hauptbahnhof. And that's what was left. Uh, opened in uh, 1864, we can see pictures of the old Immanuel Kant uh, monument here in the city of Königsberg. And here we have the actual room of the Commandant's staff office here. Now this is a museum, but it's, it's, it's so easy to forget that I'm actually in the bunker. I'm in the bunker that was surrendered uh, by the fascists to the Red Army. Here we have the moment where the Wehrmacht was issuing its final order to all the remaining troops in Königsberg to uh, cease fire and surrender to the uh, Soviet um, uh, soldiers immediately without a written order. And it was from these very rooms. This is not just a reconstructed uh, bunker. This is from the exact, I'm in the exact rooms that this actually happened. Rauchen verboten means smoking is prohibited. As I'm leaving the bunker now, I just can't help but notice the small details here on the doors, obviously original to that time. Franz Schroeder, Königsberg, Posen. Uh, there's really something about going down below the ground into the actual bunker where all this is happening that really just hits me a lot harder than just reading about that on the internet or just like, I don't know. It was, it was such a weird feeling, you know. Of course, it's a courageous victory for the Red Army, but the death and destruction of war, I don't know, just really took it close to home. As I come back above ground, thankfully not to a destroyed Königsberg, but a rebuilt Kaliningrad. Really, really powerful. Really powerful uh, thing. I would definitely recommend going to the Bunker Museum if you uh, are visiting Kaliningrad.